Good morning. It's another day. It's a beautiful day today. Every day you can get up is a beautiful day. I'm heading back up to Neil Gap today. And I'm going to do the 10 miles between Neil Gap and Woody Gap where I left off yesterday. In order for me to uh, find a place to sleep that's dry tonight, which I'm going to stay above the at the Above the Clouds Hostel, hopefully. Uh, they're going to meet me at Woody Gap this afternoon or this evening. And I'm going to go over there and stay. Then they'll take me back to the trailhead, back to Neil Gap on, what day will that be? Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow. Anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be a good day today. I'm blessed and I'm ready to go. Let's go have some breakfast. Hey, so I'm here with uh, my friends, uh, my friend Ready, Ready Wise. <laughs> and then, what, what are your what are your trail names again? Black Peak and like, Doodles. Doodles. <laughs> and these guys really brightened my day the other day. They've been such a blessing in the, uh, uh, when we were in the shelters. They're hilarious. Uh, <laughs> they only like certain foods. They're rather particular about that. Not right. Uh, Dad uh, decided to skip out a little bit and buy some, some discount uh, uh, dehydrated meals and uh, he paid the price for it. Well, the kids paid the price for it. It's we, pretty bad, yeah. We yeah. all have. It's nasty. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty bad when the kids won't eat, uh, when the kids won't eat, they'd rather eat bugs than eat the, uh, mm -hmm. eat, eat the ready wise. Anyway, God bless you guys. It's been so nice to meet you all. It was a pleasure to meet you and hike with you. Okay. <laughs> Happy See you trails. Guys. See you. So there's a beautiful view here at Neil Gap. Here at Mountain Crossings. You guys mind if I put you in video? Howdy. What's your trail names? Adam, right now. Adam. <laughs> uh, Captain Jack might stick. We'll see. Okay. Eric. Eric. That's fun dip. Fun what dip. is it? Fun, fun dip. dip. I mean, okay. Potentially Jackrabbit, but we don't know if it's gonna stick. Do you have a trail name? Not yet. Maybe Elvis. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. <laughs> hey. It's pretty busy out here right now. There's a bunch of people in here shopping. It's pretty busy in here. So I gotta do 10 miles today. I gotta get over this mountain. So I'm gonna try to hike Blood Mountain. It's gonna be tough. See what happens. I'll probably be hiking till it's dark tonight. First thing I do is keep from getting run over out here. Yep, there we go. And we're back on the AT. Heading southbound to Woody Gap. It should be about 10 miles. And I'll, uh, let me get picked up by Bubba Cloud Hostel. I'll probably have the last place to stay, but we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful day. It's nice and cloudy and it's cool right now. Hope it doesn't rain too bad. Anyway, thanks a lot for going with me. Okay, so it's Uphill from here, this is Blood Mountain. It's a beater. So I'm getting up Blood Mountain right now. And this is why you climb hills, so you can see sights like this. It's truly breathtaking.
So I'm still heading up Blood Mountain, heading southbound right now. Try to do this in video tape, in video, not busting my butt without using my poles too much, which I keep dropping. It's kind of hard to do. <sighs> It's a little wet right now. It's more humid than anything. It's chilly, but I'm hot because I've been moving. Let's go over here and see what it looks like. Let's see. Yeah. That looks kind of pretty. Does it? I think it does. So this is the Blood Mountain Shelter. Blood Mountain is the uh, highest uh, point on the Appalachian Trail in Georgia. Uh, I think this uh, shelter was built by the CCC or one of them back in uh, the 30s during the Depression. Somebody else is here right now. Let's take a look. Hey, how you doing? How are you going? Howdy. Oh, oh, I gotta take another big step up. It gets harder when you get old. You look like you're uh, camping out or? Yeah. Nice. Are you just uh, section? Uh, I'm, let me, let me. Just real quick, I'm right back. And that's the, this is it. Not a whole lot here. Okay, so I've hiked about seven and a half miles so far over Blood Mountain. It's been wet and rainy. I met up with a good group of folks that helped me along the way. Yeah. I'll tell you, the uh, trail really, they say the trail really does provide, and it does. Just the uh, words of encouragement and the love shown by folks out here. I'm telling you, if you ever want to get down about the world, just come out and hike with a bunch of people on a trail and you'll, uh, you'll get to love people again. So many people that we would never take the time to talk to. You're out here hiking, you can talk for hours. It makes the time go by. And you realize that no matter what differences we have, we have a lot more similarities. I've heard some pretty funny stories today. I've heard some sad things too. So I'm about two and a half miles from Woody Gap, where I was yesterday when I was freezing to death. Then I'm going to go into the, uh, I think it's the Above the Clouds Hostel for the night. I can't wait. I'm really getting tired. Hey guys. What? So it's, uh, it's after 11 on, uh, oh, that one, no. St. Patrick's Day. I'm at the Above the Clouds Hostel right now. I've, uh, I did almost 11 miles today in pouring down rain. I fell three times, but I got up every time. It's going to be a two, two, uh, two naproxen day, though. Two, two naproxen day. Um, 
It's been a wonderful day. I ended up getting a new pack because my stuff was way too much in my ultralight pack. I may switch over eventually, but right now I've still got my uh, my new pack, and it seems to be working really well. Um, I'm in a hostel tonight because there's supposed to be tornadoes in the area. There's been thunderstorms all night long, and it's going to be uh, pretty nasty. Uh, it's no fun to stay in a, in a tent with uh, really high winds and, and lightning. Oh, uh, here's your response. Cool, Larry. It's been pretty cold today, but it's been really great. I went over Blood Mountain. I actually hiked backwards from Neil Gap down to Woody Gap where I left off yesterday. And I, uh, now I'm going to, uh, tomorrow I'm going to get back up to Neil Gap and start heading north again. I really needed this. This night has been a really great night. This is a wonderful place to stay. Uh, I had a free class by the uh, owner. Lucky. He uh, was showing us better ways to go about uh, going ultralight. And I really learned a lot from that. I was hiking. I met all kinds of people here, especially here in the, in the hostel. There's some wonderful people. Um, so they got ahead of me. I don't I've been able to share some of my some of my feelings then, about stuff and, and heard some of their feelings about different things that are going on in their life and what brought them to the trail. So I caught up to them though after they got ahead of me. So I guess my positive and negative of the day. First the negative of the day is I really wish I could have gotten my pack to work a little better for me. I've gotta work on, on getting my pack smaller. Uh, my positive was uh, started, she started talking uh, one of the folks I met on the trail today, her name was Heather, and, and uh, I called her Martha Stewart. Florida, she, uh, lives in Braden, we hiked Florida, a good bit together Florida, today, and, 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 uh, and I'm pretty slow, hey, and they'd gone on and they passed me up, <laughs> so I never and I came up, I came around the corner coming down the hill. And there she was waiting on me, uh, just to make sure I was okay. So that's a pretty decent thing to do, and uh, I'll always appreciate what you did for me. Oh uh, yeah. She walked with me most of the way, and uh, she was just so supportive, trying to help me get through this. Because I went, I went 10 miles or 11 miles, almost 11 miles today, uh, without a break. I walked pretty much straight through. I think I changed, took my pack off one time so I could put my raincoat on. That was about it. And I, was, I was getting pretty bad. Pretty, pretty sore. It took me over six hours to do it. We were going over a mountain. Um, anyway. I, uh, I'm really having a great time. It's Being in this hostel, it's almost like staying in a summer camp. It reminds you of being a, like a big kid at a summer camp. It's just everywhere you find. They do your laundry for you. Some places they, are uh, like little dive bars. They provide yeah, dinner and breakfast that's, that's and a nice place to sleep for a very back. reasonable price. So they even give you a ride back to the trail. They get pick you up from the trail and ride you from the trail. They bring you here from the trail. In fact, the uh, the owner, Lucky, who's a uh, he, who's an Appalachian Trail through hiker, Lucky came up to the uh, he came up to the trail and I was still over a mile of the trail, walking with uh, Martha Stewart, who was helping me, who just supported me, and uh, he, came, he came over a mile up the trail in the rain just to make sure we were okay. He was worried about it, and when we got there, he had a, uh, his Tahoe ready to take us on down to the hospital, and I really do appreciate that. So anyway, it's about time to go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. We're going to go hiking. Yeah, I got you.